Hello, Sean Atwood here in London, reading an excerpt from my new book, Pablo Escobar, which is now available worldwide on Amazon. If you've watched the Netflix series Narcos, you would know that Pablo Escobar was a multi-billionaire cocaine dealer out of Colombia. And this excerpt is about Pablo surrendering to the cathedral, a prison, He'd used some of his billions to build himself. Not even birds will fly over Medellin today, the defence minister wrote in his diary on the day of Pablo Escobar's surrender to the cathedral. After 3pm, a helicopter lifted from the Capitol building's roof with the government's representatives and a popular journalist. One of Pablo's men, the monkey, directed a second helicopter to Pablo's location a mansion behind a tree grove with a soccer pitch and tropical flower gardens. Put it down over there. Don't turn off the engine, the monkey said. As the helicopter descended, dozens of armed bodyguards on the field became apparent. Encircling a bearded man with long hair, 15 of them approached the helicopter. Wearing tennis shoes and a light blue jacket, the man walked with a carefree stride. Thick set and tanned, Pablo said goodbye to and hugged the nearest bodyguards. He told two of his closest bodyguards, Otto and Mugre, to get in the helicopter. In the helicopter, he offered his hands a V, the government official in charge of the surrender negotiations, whose wife and sister, Padlo, had kidnapped and released. How are you doing, Dr. V? How's it going, Pablo? Smiling, Pablo thanked Father Garcia for everything. He sat next to his bodyguards. Upon noticing the monkey, he said, And you, in the middle of this, right to the end. His friendly tone left the passengers wondering whether he had praised or chastised the monkey. Smiling, the monkey shook his head. Ah, oh, chief. Based on Pablo's tranquility and self-control, V's first impression of Pablo was that he possessed a lever of danger bordering on the supernatural. The monkey was unable to close the helicopter door, so the co-pilot did it. Do we take off now? The pilot said. What do you think? Move it, Pablo said, briefly dropping his polite mask. As the helicopter ascended, Pablo said to V, Everything is fine, isn't it, Doctor? Everything's perfect, V said. After 15 minutes, the helicopter landed next to the first helicopter on a prison soccer field with broken goalposts and rocks everywhere. Pablo got out. 50 men in blue guard uniforms surrounded him and aimed their guns at him. He responded like thunder. Lower your weapons, damn it! The guns were lowered before their commander issued the same order. They walked 200 metres to a house containing the official delegation. More of Pablo's men had surrendered, and his wife and mother. Pablo patted his mother on the shoulder. Take it easy, Ma. The prison director shook Pablo's hand. Senor Escobar, I'm Luis Jorge Pataquiva. Pablo pulled up a trouser leg, revealing a Sig Sauer 9mm pistol with a gold monogram inlaid on a mother-of-pearl handle. The spellbound crowd watched Pablo remove each individual bullet and throw it on the ground. The gesture was designed to show confidence in the warden whose appointment had worried Pablo. On a portable phone, Pablo told his brother that he'd surrendered. Addressing the journalist's presence, he said his surrender was an act of peace. I decided to give myself up the moment I saw the National Constitutional Assembly working for the strengthening of human rights and Colombian democracy. Pablo acknowledged everyone. I'm here, the special prosecutor said, taking Pablo's hand, Senior Escobar, to make certain your rights are respected. Pablo thanked him. By spending some of the millions he'd smuggled into the prison, 
It wasn't long before Pablo started to modify his surroundings to suit a man of his stature. That's an excerpt from my book, Pablo Escobar. This is Sean Atwood in London. If you're watching this video on YouTube, Amazon links to the book are in the information, the Seymour box at the foot of this video and links to the webpage for the book as well. Thanks for listening. Cheers.